Hey, now, the Sandmark compact tripod. Have you ever came across a very compact tripod ever? Well, in my books, so far. This is pretty compact. Pretty suitable for uh, traveling. And there you go. So, what? Really? Before we start on with the video, I just want to say like a full disclosure that uh, Sandmark did send this to me for me to create a video to review on this product. So I have full freedom of what I would have to say on my open opinions about this tripod. So this is gonna be pretty much like a full review of what my thoughts are. And I wasn't sent like any script for me to say about this tripod. Sam Mark was actually gracious enough to send this to me. Full travel and it's, oh yeah, very lightweight. I wouldn't like create any kind of random video just for like the sake, the heck of it, just, just because they sent it to me. But I do, be I do believe that this does have some value towards what you're aiming to do with your videos, especially if you're doing like photography or videography. It opens so much possibilities, I guess. I mean, small is better. I mean, small is better in a way, right? It's just the performance of what it does. This tripod is mainly just for, you know, mainly for phones because it's, you know, it's small, it's lightweight. It's not recommended for the DSLR mirrorless cameras, but it can do the job. I mean, I've tried it using with this uh, FX3. This thing is massive and heavy, but it still manages to carry it, which was surprisingly able to do because of this ball head. Ball head is pretty neat pretty sturdy, has that regular single plate, and it does come with the phone attachment. It is spring-loaded, so you can actually handle all your, uh, your phone, whichever phone that you carry. This does have a cold shoe mount on top of the fold holder, so you can attach your accessories you prefer. This does have three notches th for your legs. All you gotta do is just twist it, and it extends. It extends at about like around 25 inches in height. You got yourself a pretty sturdy kind of little uh, tripod over here. It is not a cheap tripod for sure. But of course, if you get like a cheap tripod, you get a cheap tripod. So this is uh, retailed at 100 bucks, $99 at the Sandmark uh, website. I'll link it down in the description below, of course what everyone does. But really got me surprised about this tripod is actually the panning. It is super smooth. It is super smooth on panning through around. If ever you want to do like those uh, panoramic shots, that is pretty smooth. You can really take this out pretty much anywhere you'd want. I mean, you could take this to your hiking trips. You can actually use this for vlogging too. You can actually bring this to flights, your explorations, wherever you are, because it's pretty light. It is around 1.6 pounds, something like that, somewhere around that. And it's just easy to bring, easy to fold. And there you have it, a compact tripod where you can bring, squeeze in anywhere you want in your bag. It is low profile. If I just leave it out in the open and then I just leave it there, I mean, I'm just get scared it might fall. I mean, take a look. There it is right there. I mean, it does the job pretty good, pretty well. But if you have like a very heavy camera, like just about five pounds of what it can actually carry, it starts to wobble. Well, you can actually use this to vlog. I mean, usually I'd make a, usually I use tripods as the, the Gorillapod 5K, which is because, you know, it's pretty, uh, versatile and it has a lot of features of what you can do with that tripod. For this one, this is also an option of what you can do. You can vlog with it. Is there a car behind me? There is a car behind me, isn't there? Right there. You gotta be careful where you go. 
Denmark is actually building a, they're releasing actually a pro edition of this tripod, which is just coming out pretty soon. Make sure to check that out. And by far, this is a pretty cool device, pretty cool tripod. And it's just, you know, I can't wait to see what Sandmark has in store for us, you know? What they can do with all of their gadgets and what they can do. They've uh, created some pretty cool stuff uh, built for videography and photography. And they're actually here to help us out to make content that we can actually be creative with. Pushing our limits. That's what we have to do, right? Just to make content. So that's it for the video. Of course, make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment. What are your thoughts about it? So I'll catch you guys in the next video, all right? Bye. Ah. Of course, I can't forget the camera.